Hello. Hello. I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, person who's late. <laughs> you can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Yes. So, we're streaming today. I noticed that my internet was still a little bit, a little bit iffy earlier. So we're going to hope that that doesn't lead to further problems. It seems to be fine now, but it did dip alarmingly while we were still in the uh, pre-stream period. But yes, so not a whole lot to be said right now, or at least not a whole lot that I want to really say. We don't have a whole lot of time right now. Yeah, we started later than I would like because in part because I worked later this evening. I work later on Thursdays and Fridays than I do the rest of the week. But yes, in part due to that, but also in part due to just a lot of a lot of other things that needed to be taken care of. It's been a it's been a long day for me. But yes. For those of you who have been watching my Twitter, I've been a little bit ill. I was a little bit ill towards the end of last week and towards the beginning of this week too as well. But I'm not feeling 100% better at this point, but I'm feeling well enough to stream. And so I shall. But yes. So this is probably going to be a pretty short stream on account of the need for rest and also on account of the late start. But yes. I feel like I say every time that it's probably going to be a, a short stream, but this time I mean it. <laughs> Which I also feel like I say every time. But this time I especially mean it because I'm, again, starting a lot later. So, tomorrow, we should be seeing a return to the, to the uh, collab series. Once again, that will be bi-weekly. Uh, last week, I believe I said that it would be on, or that it would be starting up again last Friday, but I was incorrect about that. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I was incorrect about that. So yes, so, this Friday, tomorrow, we should be seeing the return of Coffee Talk, and then proceeding into the next game. Yeah, that will be every other Friday, and on the Fridays that we don't do that, I will most likely be playing Arknights. Next week, we should be seeing Arknights again on Wednesday, assuming no, nothing else extremely unusual happens, and I continue to recover, and my internet continues to be acceptable. So yes, anyway. Now... That should basically cover us. So, without much further ado, let us go to the place where video games happens. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> so, as you may recall from last time, 4-4 was a little bit of a challenge for us. But yeah, not insurmountable, certainly, but it was a bit of a challenge. And so I put in some time off-stream to, yeah, to refine my strategy a little bit, to practice somewhat. And so I'm thinking that the team that we have should be pretty good for what we're doing. Which, and I say that with a good deal of confidence, because I did actually complete the mission once. Sit. So yeah, I completed it with a less than full, full three-star rating. So, I did make another change, you may see in the form of the little robot fellow up in the top left. But yes, I did make a an additional change from the strategy I used last time. Hopefully, hopefully being able this time to uh, resolve the mission successfully. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. But yes, I was worried that, uh, I don't know, I might just be, I might just be a little bit unnecessarily nervous. But that definitely does feel like longer loading than usual. Which is moderately concerning. But yes, anyway. So, like I said, last time I did manage to come up with a strategy that worked pretty well. And so I hope to, hope to, uh, replicate that here. You can't stop me. Yes, of course, when you're live, it's always a little bit more challenging. 
got to keep up commentary and strategize at the same time. Yes, I only did this once, so I don't have it memorized well enough to easily be able to repeat it. But, repeat it I shall. That is the intention. Yes, I do... Hmm. It occurs to me that I... Okay, I think this is where we need to deploy Meteorite. Yes, that seems like a reasonable position to place her as well. Yeah, so one thing that has changed... Hmm, I think... Okay, no, we're fine, we're fine. Yes, one thing that has changed a little bit... The most notable change, I would say, is that we're now using... Yeah, we're avoiding as much as possible... Uh, that guy's going to... No, she'll survive one more hit, okay. 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 So yes, yeah, so as much as possible, we're avoiding having the enemies... Yeah, we're avoiding having the enemies step on Originium tiles. Okay. Now the question is, do I recall precisely what... Oh, hold on. One other thing that we need to do is we need to use Earth Spirit as well. Yes, so we're using some slowers. That is what I meant to say when I... Or that is what I meant when I was saying that the strategy has changed. Yes, I'm going to have Manticore here. Manticore is also new on the team. Deploy for a little bit of extra damage. Yeah, that was a little bit of a of an improvisational <laughs> decision there. That wasn't originally something that I planned on, but I just thought of it in the moment that it might be a good way to put a little bit of extra damage on Crown Slayer. Because Crown Slayer being Crown Slayer is is the main reason why I didn't get the perfect rating I was hoping for last time around. Of course, now that I think about it, it probably would have been better to deploy a sniper or something of the sort in this general area over here to stop her, but... So yes. So... I think we can still make this work. This should, work. should have deployed Frostleaf a little bit earlier. I appreciate the vote of confidence, by the way. Okay, so this might not be precisely what we need, and yeah, it might be a little bit too late to salvage this. The face castle three down, but oh well. Um, okay, yeah, unfortunate. We have lost our defense on that side. Yeah, that was not part of the plan. <laughs> so. We're going to improvise again. So yeah, the left side, historically, has held up pretty well. So I'm not too concerned about that. Hmm. So yes. Of note, Earth Spirit, her ability allows her to slow every enemy within her range. Whereas Orchids allows her to attack slightly faster. That's why I wasn't too aggressive with using Earth Spirit's ability there. Go ahead. Of course, now that we have a larger amount of enemies, it'll be more useful. I think this should be good. Yes, now that we have more enemies coming in, we're going to want to use Earth Spirit skill. We'll lose out a little bit on damage by doing this, but we will be... Yeah, we will be stalling the enemies a little bit more. Yes, the crossbow wielders are definitely one of the bigger issues for me. Yes, they tend to take out my slowers. But we're doing pretty good. We've got a lot of deployment points. 
But yes, I think I need to be a little bit more careful here because I have had Gummy go down before. Be a little bit cautious with Gaviel as well because if we let one more enemy through, we will lose. And I would prefer not to lose. But yes, we're doing pretty good. I feel like I maybe should have waited a little bit to use Meteorite skill because I think we might... Okay, no, it's coming up again. Okay. I was a little bit worried that we might have uh, lost on that side already. But yes. Uh, Orchid going down is the expected result. Don't worry about that. Okay, I think the left side is going to hold fine. Yeah, if we'd had a little bit... Yeah, I think if I had deployed a Sniper instead of Manticore, we probably would have been able to beat uh, Crown Slayer without much issue. Yeah, at least, yeah, a lot of things could, be, could have been done to improve that. But this is a victory. This is a victory, as uh, incomplete as it may be. So I will accept it. <laughs> we finally got them. Man, don't I know the feeling. No, not yet. What's that powder drifting down? <sighs> it hurts. It hurts. Ah! Itches, it itches. Ah. Rhodes. Rhodes Island. Enemy. Enemy. What, 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 what's going on? The enemies we just defeated are standing back up? What, are you done already? There's a glow coming from that guy's staff. I haven't even done anything yet. And they've got a lot more reinforcements coming. Curse you. Right now, I can only pray that this round will, can kill the enemy leader. Don't. <laughs> you really have time for a strategy meeting in your position. So much self-confidence. I'll teach you a lesson with this shot. No, meteorite. Don't. Why? We need to retreat. And feel it. It's them. They're here. Oh? You're not going to shoot? What a pity. You know, you won't get another chance. Is he leaving? But... Meteorite. Aimed at the collapsing building to the west. Now. At least we can distract the enemy to buy us some time. <laughs> this is our only option. I'll do it. Jessica, start running. Uh, huh? Yetis are here. Oh, wait. So, so cold. Let's go. Now. Jessica? She's right. We need to get out of here. Amya, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Just go. I'll cover you. Listen. Amya. Do not come. These ruins are... Please do, if you have the time. But yes. So. I was thinking I might just do the one level. But, I think we've got... We... Yeah, we haven't been streaming for very long. That feel, that would feel almost like a waste, really. But yes. This, this level should be... Ideally, less challenging. We'll see how things uh, shake out for us. And... Oh, I just realized I forgot. I've forgotten my uh, hotkey to summon the movie. Oh well. So, let me put my team back in some order. At the very least, let me get Amia back on it. Amia? Oh, I just realized I, didn't, I never. I never marked Amia as one of my non spoiler units. So, let me make sure to do that. I didn't do that with a lot of casters, to be honest. 
I suppose I don't use casters all that much. Anyway, Amia back on the team. Gotta have Amia. I won't let you down. Indeed you won't. Um, Amia. I don't remember precisely who else was on the team. I don't know, I think we'll I'll replace I'll replace Orchid with Jessica. Why not? It feels appropriate. Just give your orders and I'll carry them out. Alright. Now we continue the story. Yeah, everything else should be fine. Yeah, I guess I don't have as many guards as I was initially planning on. I do like having Manticore around. I do like Manticore as a unit. But, yeah, I guess I didn't really go over very much <laughs> the specific roles of each unit. I suppose I can talk about it a little bit later on, but yeah, Manticore was mainly there because she is a unit who has a lowered targeting priority. Basically, if there are any valid targets other than her, they will be targeted before her regardless of when she was deployed in relation to them. And on top of that, she also has a pretty good chance to avoid attacks. I'd initially wanted to use her more as sort of a uh, an additional source of slowing and damage on top of Earth Spirit and uh, on top of Earth Spirit and Orchid. But I think honestly from playing that mission out again, I feel like I probably could have done something else instead of used Manticore. Because yeah, the position that she was in could have been better. Again, my trying to use her to take out Crown Slayer was a last minute uh, adjustment to my strategy. I probably should have deployed her sooner if I was really going to use her for that purpose, to slow O Crown Slayer on her way to the Originium tile, rather than just after she got there. Yeah, another thing that I found some success with in experimenting around was redeploying the barricades to force Crown Slayer to go on a really circuitous route, basically just to have her go back and forth trying to go down a single path to reach the uh, objective. But yeah, again, I will probably go back and get a three-star Renki on that mission, but I'll probably do it on my own time. I don't need to talk about it too much here, but I do like to go over my strategic thought process. But yes. So, anyway. All that is to say... Eh. I don't know. I think we're going to switch Manticore back out for Astesia. I think we should be good to... Yeah. Though I don't know... I don't know where Astesia is in this list, to be honest. Okay, there she is. Perfectly within safe range. I'm over here, Doctor. You are indeed. Yes. Let us continue. Sit. Rossleaf? Rossleaf? What's going on? Amia, this is the second recon squad. We're currently retreating, but the enemy. Reunion. It cut out again? Third Recon Squad. Do you copy? Third Recon Squad? Oh, yeah. Dr. Calcite, it's me. Did you get... I've been continuously mon monitoring them from the bridge. I need you to ask something to that officer next to you. Ask her. How long does Lung Men intend to keep playing dumb? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. But we certainly don't have time to waste. Well, what happened? I just went to grab some forms and you two look all serious now. A new mission? Correct. Everyone, gear up. It's about time for us to head out. Madam Chen, I'm, I'm formally requesting that the LGD provide assistance to Rhodes Island on this rescue mission. We may even be dealing with the Reunion's new temporary headquarters. Furthermore, I believe that our recon squads are still out there fighting, even if we can't see them. Oh. 
All right. Stay focused. Look straight ahead. Indeed. We can't let some misuse originium like this. So yeah, looks like things are going to be fairly straightforward here. Leave it to us. Yeah, I'm still a little bit wound up from that last mission, to be honest. I'm worried that uh, something is going to go terribly wrong that I don't anticipate. Probably should have deployed Earth Spirit on the upper ranks now that I think about it. All right, very good. This should be fine. Probably going to want to deploy Estesia before too long. If enemy numbers continue to be high, Meteorite is probably going to be good on the top level. Hmm. This should work. This should work. Okay, we've got a swordsman on the bottom half. So that's probably going to uh, necessitate a little bit more defense here before too long. Arts guard. Ah. Yeah, so we've got arts guards on both sides. So they're not going to care too much about our defense. Hmm. So in that case, it might be beneficial to... Well, I don't know. I was thinking of using Estesia specifically. But the thing about Estesia is that she's not that good for... Yeah, the thing about Estesia is that she's not that good at dealing with the swordsmen because they are... They have relatively high resistance. I just realized that I've been saying it Estesia, but she just pronounced it as Estesia. Hmm. Oh well. But yeah, Estesia does... Estesia does have a little bit more resistance on her, which should be helpful. Very good, very good. But yes, we're definitely dealing with higher numbers of enemies on the top rank, so I'm glad that I have things as they are, more or less. Probably could have used that skill a little bit earlier, but it's all good. I think we might be able to get away with swapping out Texas. We might not necessarily want to, that might not necessarily be a good idea. But we could. Yeah, Estesia... Estesia would probably be fine. I was a little bit worried. Oh dear. Hmm. Should have been keeping a closer eye on Texas. Or keeping a closer eye on uh, Cross Leaf. Oh no, okay. I was going to say that. Did, uh, I was worried that uh, Estesia just uh, succumbed to her wounds, but no, she's fine. Yeah, the crossbowmen, I feel like, are going to be a persistent nuisance for me. Hmm. I'd appreciate it if you would keep your fire towards the upper rank there, meteorite. Hmm. Okay, we just lost our defender up top. Yeah, again. Yeah, we need more damage there if we're going to be dealing with the arts guards, I do believe. Esthesia is low on health. Unfortunate. Um, hmm. Unfortunate. We're doing okay, though. We're not doing too bad. I think we, I think we hold, even though uh, things didn't go quite to plan. But I think we hold. But yeah, they're just outside the range of meteorite. I can redeploy Crossleaf to get the kill a little bit faster. Yeah, I was glad that we had Astesia because of the resistance, but I guess she doesn't have that much resistance. I suppose 10 resistance is a pretty good amount of resistance, to be honest. Even Amiya only has 15. <clears throat> At this point, we're out of other options, Madam Chen. If you deny my request, 
Rhodes Island will act alone. These actions don't violate any of the terms of terms of our cooperation. Of course we'll be there. Is that so? In that case, thank you on behalf of Rhodes Island. I know that Lung Men still sees us as infected. It's not a big deal. However, I'm not sure if our squads will be able to make it into the ruins. We'll have to play it by ear. If the situation allows, we will definitely help. However, our top priority is still to eliminate Reunion. That... That's enough for us. Thank you, Madam Chen. Sorry, I have my own duties. Did you hear me, Doc? We will join up with Rhodes Island. Amia, be careful. This won't be a simple task. I will. Right. I managed to put together some pieces of intel. Rhodes Island has deployed re has already deployed rescue squads to assist the other recon squads. But Meteorite Squad is too far and we cannot reach them. This is where you come in. Only Meteorite Squad. I understand. I'll go look for them. I'll send you the coordinates later. Remember, safety is your top priority. Understood. So, when are we heading out? Right now. I'll go get ready. Notify the other LGD members. Alright. Amia, we'll leave from here in ten minutes. Okay. Please be safe. Man, those guys were weak. I regret not giving them a few whacks with the staff here. Well, things did go a little bit poorly there towards the end, but... We did succeed. But yes. Again, I do feel like I want to stream longer. This is definitely a lot shorter than I would like. But on the other hand, like I said, I'm not 100% yet. I don't want to push myself too much. I do need to get some rest because I have been quite tired all day. So, I am going to call it here, unfortunately. But yes. It is important to me that I that I stream, but it is also important to me that I, you know, live and am alive so that I can continue to stream. So, we'll wrap things up. So, night has been Arc Nights. Unfortunately brief, but, you know, what can you do? <laughs> Say la vie. Yes, tonight has been Arc Night. Tomorrow should be more coffee talk. We should be wrapping that up. Again, potentially, maybe, possibly. Not necessarily very likely, but possibly. <clears throat> yeah, we will be seeing uh, the next game that we will that Sheps and I will be playing. I don't know if I mentioned Sheps' name when I was talking about the collab last time, but uh, yes. <laughs> the ongoing collab series with Sheppy Sheps VT. But yes, um, yeah, so that will be tomorrow. Once again, that will be every other Friday. So the Fridays when I'm not playing with Chaps, I'll be playing more Arc Nights. And the next Arc Night stream will most likely be on Wednesday. Yeah, I feel like that's just kind of a better, better time for me in general. It gives me more time to get prepared. But yeah. Towards the end of the week, I tend to be, I tend to not, uh, I don't know, I tend to be a little bit busier towards the end of the week, so I have less time to prepare the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Prepare the operator spotlights, which we didn't have this time, unfortunately. Yeah, again, I was kind of out of it, <laughs> kind of out of it for a while, and so I didn't really have, uh, on the, in the time that I had the energy, I didn't, or the... Yeah, when I had the energy, I didn't have the time, and when I had the time, I didn't have the energy. So, it is what it is. Hopefully we'll be back to that as well, before too long. But, all of this being said, it is time to wrap up. So, let's see. If anyone has a raid suggestion, I would be glad to hear it. If not, I can find a raid myself, and I will be looking... I already talked about the schedule, probably should have 
given the call call for suggestions beforehand, but what can you do? Let's see who's online. A lot of a lot of options here, which makes it challenging. Hmm. I'm trying to remember who we visited last time. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> All right. I think we will go and visit. Uh. Let's go see Sroka playing some Muse Dash, it looks like. Yes, yeah, Sroka V2. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Raid. Sroka. All right. So, that is set up. The customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And that should be basically everything that we need to go over. Yes. Stream, schedule, raid. Yes. So, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you've had a fine night. I hope that you'll continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.